Hello folks. So, I know I've been gone for a bit. It's been about, what, three weeks since the last proper upload, but it's kind of been a blessing and a curse. So, we had some family issues, or some family events come up, and then some internet issues come up that kind of took us down for a little bit. But we didn't waste the time. So, I really had a chance to go over the quest system and really refine it, because the first iteration of the quest system was not the best. So you had to accept the quest first for like if you had a collectible quest, like go pick up these certain items and come back, then uh, you had to accept the quest, go pick them up, then come back. Otherwise, if you already had the items and tried to turn it in, it wouldn't count. Which is not the best system you want it to be able to be like, oh, I've already got that, here, take it right now, you know. So we can do that now, which using what I learned in that, we also have set up a crafting system, which can be as ridiculous as you want it. So it can be as simple as just needing three green herbs for a health potion, or as ridiculous as needing, you know, I have rabbit spine, boar hide, an iron sword, and tusk all set up for this one. Because I just wanted to see if we could add as many items as we wanted. And it works. Uh, but I will show you the craft system a little bit more right now because, let's see. I'm going to craft three cakes for another quest, so I can show you all another feature of the quest system update. Let's see, three milk, three flour. Oopsie daisies. Alright, so, oh, the crafting system, you'll notice that those bottom ones are grayed out. Uh, for the cake, I need three eggs, one milk, one flour. But, it's not because I don't have the items, it's because I need to be near a fire pit. So we'll be able to set a crafting system up that requires, you know, you can set it up to where you need to be either at a workbench or, you know, blacksmithing tray, or, you know, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Uh, but my quest that I'm about to do is going to need three cakes. So now I have that. Uh, the other feature of the quest system that I wanted to add was the ability to progress lock. So you had, like, you would have to complete quest 2, 3, and 4 in order to get quest 5. So we've got that set up now. So if I talk to this girl, you see she's got nothing. No quests I can do. I have her set up to have a quest, but I have to beat that first alchemical romance quest and then this birthday bash quest. Which requires three cakes, which is why I baked them. Um, but now you'll see she's got a quest for me. To slay some piggies. But, in order to get that quest, I needed to complete these two, so we'll set up our quest log to be able to keep track of the quests that we have, and the quests we've completed, so that we can do that kind of stuff. Oh, that's the quest, okay. We'll set up our crafting system to where we'll be able to craft whatever you want. Uh, it works just like the items and the magic spells, and you can just create stuff throw it into that data table, and then if you've got the requirements, which we'll also set up, then you can craft it. So, one more feature that I wanted to show you. Well, besides the level design stuff, so this is all still with the, the free assets, and we'll go over how to set up this kind of level. Uh, but I wanted to show you all that we will also be setting up animals. But not just animals to hunt, but animals that interact and react to each other. So you'll see how the deer are kind of running around. Oh, he's on him. Alright. Get him. Eat him. So I can show these people. You know what? You're hungry and I'm here to help. So that boar was chasing that deer. It just couldn't catch it. But uh, he was hungry. He's got a hunger system inside of him. And once he's hungry enough, he'll actually chase down animals to eat them. The wolves are the same way. That's why you see the deer are running crazy, because when they see a predator, they just freak out. But the wolves will only chase down a deer, or the boar will only chase down a deer, if they're actually hungry. It's a, it's a way of just keeping them from just going nuts and chasing down everything all the time. Oh, that boar's hungry. Oh, he did it himself. Good job. 
You're too late. You're too late. Oh, you're not. Okay. Whatever. Enjoy the half meal. Uh, but we'll set it up to where you can have... <laughs> They're both trying to get that one deer. So you might come across and you might see three or four wolves just chasing a deer down. A wolf and two boar. Just, all right, they're working together. They're working in tandem. But uh, we'll, we'll set it up to where the level is more systemic. And uh, I use that word because I've been watching a lot of this guy. He's got a channel on YouTube. It's called Game Maker's Toolkit. And it is phenomenal. Y'all really should check it out. But he talks a lot about systemic game design, which is how things in the world actually interact and react to each other. So, for instance, the deer will also have a similar hunger system, and they will seek out these green herbs when they get hungry enough. Just like the wolves and the boar seek out the deer and the rabbits. I just don't think we actually got to see any rabbits. But you get the point on the hunting. You know, it, yeah, it, they're, they're hunting them down. We'll also go over how to set up a dialogue system so you can come up and talk to people. He's not very friendly. It's one component that we can attach to anybody and add as much dialogue as we want. We'll also set up treasure chests that are randomized. So this is like the fifth time I've recorded this video, and each time it's been different. Also, the gold is reactive, reactive to your level, so the first time I did this, I was level 1. I got like 43, but since I'm level 4, it bumped up. So it, it gets a number and then times it by your level in order to give you the gold. The items are randomized, and the points don't matter. No, I'm sorry, that's a... <laughs> Whose line is it anyway joke? It's terrible, I know. Um, but yeah, so we'll go over how to do all that coming up soon internet's working great got a lot of time to do all this now and we are going to get started on it very soon so i hope you're as excited as i am not to mention that the we'll be going over the level design as well so hope to see y'all soon and i will have these videos started uploading first thing in the morning i'm going to record them all tonight and have them uploading all tomorrow so i will see y'all there bye bye